Hello and welcome. We are a team of students from Imperial College London and have spent this summer creating the Ideas Lab, a new makerspace linked with Imperial's Dyson School of Design Engineering. In this video we hope to outline the software system we have made for the space. Briefly, an introduction to the space. 100% student society led, it's located in the heart of the South Kensington campus. The equipment focuses on digital manufacturing, including 3D printing, laser cutting, CNCs and prototype electronics. It's designed to support pre-typing and will be open for the next academic year with COVID-friendly adaptations. The software is split into three distinct subsystems. Sign in, sign out is operated on an iPad near the entrance and the others operate from either an iPad or computer within the space. All three applications are web browser based for flexibility. Also, a TV connected to a Pi will display information about the equipment and space. A local server hosts the side that operates equipment or interacts with the space directly. This is partly by requirement for connecting to local Octoprint printers, but also for safety since accessing the space remotely would have to be through the university's secured VPN. The top up slash material shop is hosted on a Heroku server, providing the required SSL certificate for the Square payment app and Bluetooth card reader. We are using a Node.js backend with an Express framework and React frontend. MongoDB is used to store all our user equipment, materials and log data. Smart plugs controlling equipment like the laser cutters are flashed with Tasmota and operated by MQTT with a local Pi broker. To operate the print farm, each Prusa has a Pi flashed with Octopi. Signing in and out of the lab is especially important during COVID times. A user can view the current occupancy of the space and tap their card to sign in, if there is room. Once signed in, their card will work to switch on equipment, otherwise they can book a half-hour slot using an embedded Calendly booking system. They can tap out of the space once finished. Operators can also open or close the space from this panel. The user can easily operate printers with the system. After tapping in, the user starts a new job and is presented with all the printers in the space and their statuses. From here, with the Prusa Print Farm, where we are able to send files remotely, the user can select from their G-code files, which they have sliced and emailed to the lab. The G-code is sent to the relevant Octopi and analysed with the Print Time Genius plugin, returning the predicted time and volume of filament used. This is used to display the cost to the user. The user then completes a list of pre-flight checks and can start the print, given that they have enough credit. An email update is received with the details of the job. If the user has the required permissions, they can select the more advanced printers such as the Formlabs or Race 3 d The job details estimated by the slicer are entered by the user. The user selects the materials from a drop-down list and the cost is calculated. Once the checklist of items specific to that printer is complete and the user has enough balance, the ID card is then able to turn on the printer via the ESP32 based card scanner and Tasmota smart plug. Once finished, the user can scan their card again or they can turn the plug off with the hardware button. There is also a panel where users are able to view and manage their current print jobs and they will receive emails when their print finishes or fails. Upon failure or where a print is cancelled midway, a partial refund is issued automatically. On the administration side, the dashboard shows all the equipment currently in use in the space, providing options to pause, resume or stop ongoing prints as well as reporting any faults. The Equipments page contains all the relevant information for each piece of equipment. This is where new equipment can be added and configured, such as linking a plug, scanner, or material. Operators can use the Shop page for inventory control and choosing what items are available for purchase by users. The Users page allows user management, including permission and credit handling, for a group of users. Finally, a logs page provides the operator with detail of every interaction within the space, including user data, time in, and time out. Every transaction is also logged and can be exported to CSV and sent via email to the operator logged in. Each page comes ready with filtering and sorting options to allow operators to quickly find what they're looking for. To purchase Ideas Lab credits, an iPad integrated with a square Bluetooth card reader is used. This iPad also hosts the material shop, where acrylic, plywood, and other materials can be purchased from the space's store with credits. For both components, email receipts are provided. We are now in the final stages of putting the space together, and excited to see it being used soon. If you have any questions, or would like to talk to us more about our system, please feel free to contact us at ilab at ic.ac.uk. Thank you.